Hello and welcome, this is AnyLoads 815 TS Indicator Calibration video. Today we're going to be going over our setup menu and its navigation. We'll go over our F1 settings, which include divisions, decimal point, calibration unit, and setting your capacity. And our F3 settings, which include zero calibration and span calibration. We're going to be setting this up as if it was a truck scale. So that's 100 divisions, our decimal is going to be set to none, our units are going to be set to pounds, and our max capacity will be 50,000 pounds. To enter the setup menu, we're going to press and hold zero and tear together. And it's going to ask us for a password. The default password is 0001, but for legal for trade applications, you will require a unique password. Press tear to enter that password. Now to navigate the submenu, I'm going to use the units and print button, also known as left or right. Long pressing those buttons is going to move you by 1.0 and short pressing them is going to move you by 0.1. So let's navigate to our first setting, which is F1.1 and we'll press tear to enter that submenu. Now using the zero and gross button, which is up and down respectively, we're going to move those divisions up and down. We're going to navigate to 100 and we'll press tear to confirm that selection. F1.2 is your decimal point, currently set to none, but again, we can move it up or down. So we wanted ours set to none, so we're going to move that back down and press tear to enter that value. F1.3 is your calibration unit, so we're going to calibrate ours in pounds, but you can also calibrate in kilograms. F1.4 is your power up unit. So we're going to want ours to be option two, which is pounds, but option one is also kg. F1.5 is your alternative unit. We can just leave ours set at kg. F1.6 is your second alternative unit. You have two more options here, which is ounces or grams, or you can just set this to off using zero. So we're going to set ours to off. So navigate to zero, press tear. F1.7 is our max capacity, so I can navigate left or right using the units and print button, also known as left or right, and I can increase using zero and gross, also known as up and down. So we're going to set ours to 50,000 pounds and press tear to enter. F1.8 is your overcapacity. I'm just going to leave this at 2D. F1.9 is reserved, so don't worry about that one. Now we're going to get into our F3 settings, which include zero calibration and span calibration. So let's navigate to F3.1 and zero our scale. We're going to remove any weight from the scale. Once that's complete, press tear, and it's going to start our calibration countdown. Once that's complete, we're going to go directly to our F3.2 setting, which is our span calibration. Now it's going to ask us to load our test weights on the scale. Once that's complete, we're going to press tear and it's going to ask us for the value of that test weight. So in this case, we're going to say this is 50,000 pounds. Press tear to enter and you'll get your calibration count down from five. Once that's complete and you're happy with the reading, you can press and hold zero and tear to save that setting. You can go ahead and drive a truck up on that scale. And then if everything looks good, you're good to go. If you have any questions, please direct those to info at anyload.com and our team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.